All right, guys, welcome back to another quick installment, <laughs> part two, I suppose, to the uh, the Yesu Lightning Strike. I was buttoning this thing up, you guys saw in the last video, very proud of ourselves for getting this thing up and running. Uh, there was a voltage regulator that had, was um, shorted to ground, so we got that uh, fixed. Uh, ended up finding other issues with the uh, HDMI in, which I didn't really cover in that video, um, but the little chipset that converts whatever signal's coming out of the display here uh, to... I say HDMI because that, that part can do HDMI, but it's a um, DVI, so they didn't have to pay for the royalties and all that jazz. Um, so it's a DVI out. That thing was shorted to ground, so I desoldered it, and that helped. So now, if I've got time, we'll show uh, us replacing that temporary voltage regulator, the 3.3 volt one, with something with something more permanent. Got my bag of parts here from Mauser, so we're ready to go on that front. I was super excited, started buttoning this thing back up and just as i was about to put the lid on this thing uh and then go test it i noticed <laughs> the um the oh so familiar shit stain that is uh a part that's given up the ghost let me try and it's right here this big boy which is does all the work for our transmitting has popped it's like a big old MOSFET underneath here. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this thing and I'll uh, stitch that in while we're talking. Next step is gonna be to remove some of these components here so that we can get at that uh, MOSFET and get it yanked out of here. And then we'll take a look uh, and see what kind of thermal interface we have. And if, and it's the part that I ordered from China. Yep. We'll see if that thing's genuine enough <laughs> to get this thing back into service. Let's find out. All right, ladies. Uh, normally this is stuff I might skip over. Um, my, my experience on YouTube is that folks don't necessarily want to watch me, you know, solder something in and, and desolder something out. Uh, but this was such a pain in the dick that I thought I would show it for the uh, the three other people ever that are going to tear their, uh, their, their yay suit. FTD X10 down to this level to replace this uh, specific MOSFET. Let me point at the one I'm talking about here. Uh, that bad mamma jamma right there. So I thought this was going to be a lot like you see other um, transistors or uh, MOSFETs where after I removed these screws that you know maybe somehow they were uh, pulling up or holding down some sort of a heat sink. Uh, and then this, once I desoldered, this thing would separate from it. I might see some thermal compound underneath it. Not the case in, in, in this one. This one has, its heat sink is on the underside. Uh, there it is. This big, uh, that big mass of uh, thermal capacity there. And it's actually soldered to the part, but there's no way to install it or to connect the two pieces and then reinstall it uh, on this main board. The heat sink on the underside is now, has been like wave soldered at the factory and you know covers this whole big area on the on the underside. Actually, let me see if I can flip it over so we, we are both talking about the same thing here. Yeah, that big guy right there. Um, so that's a lot of thermal mass for this thing to uh, be shunted into. And so it's actually, the, the way it transfers heat is through solder. It is flowed and, and, you know, electrically connected to that heat sink on the other side. And so even if you just lift these legs and desolder them and, you know, bend them up, this part's not coming out unless you flow that piece on the, the uh, underneath and then lift the part out after the entire heat sink is up to the melting temperature of your solder, which is going to be around uh, 600 degrees American. So... Uh, 630, 650. If you're replacing it, now you know. That, that, that thing is, there's a pad on the underside of this part uh, that is now, um, you know, inter, it's not interplastitial, what is it? Uh, Intermetallically <laughs> connected, where this is alchemy for Christ's sakes. Uh, so we've now created an alloy uh, between, you know, at the, the mating materials between this part and the heat sink on the underside. So um, now it's in place, all tacked down, but all like, you know, 20 some odd screws had to come out of here, all the different RF connections, you know, uh, leads, all that stuff. Uh, the, the main antenna port had to be desoldered. It is a lot of work. And then we're gonna put some, I think I've got some Arctic silver, uh, basically your normal CPU thermal compound will be just fine. So that's here and here to transfer stuff for uh, another voltage regulator. So um, yeah, 
There it is. All right, let me get this stuff all, uh, you know, stuck back in there, and then we'll be, uh, I'll meet you guys back at the bench. I could just wake up, and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Living in the new world. With an whole soul. These rich men know for rich men. Lord knows it all. Just want to have total control. Want to know what you think. Want to know what you do. And they don't think you know. But I know that you do. The dollar ain't shit. And it's tax to no end. Cause the rich men. Let's see. Less power. <laughs> let's see how, how low can we go. Five watts. Okay, let's start that. Probably gonna need one of these guys to make with the PTT. I'm gonna be watching the um, I'm gonna be watching the monitor over here. You guys watch uh, this area for smoke. Ooh All right, there you go. There's there's your uh, three or four watts. Hey, I'm testing. Ooh, very nice. Testing one, two. Audio. Test, test, test. Bueller. Mom. How about, ooh, 20-some-odd watts, I'll take that. Hello. Oh, I see, when I, switched, when I switched modes over to AM, it changed my power out for that. Okay, well, oh, here, how about 20 watts? Testing, one, two, oh yeah, that's very good. <laughs> Let's see, can I get the whole thing in frame? Here we go. You gotta love that feedback. All right, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right, man, that's good enough for the girls I go out with. All right, ladies, uh, time to crack up on a cold one and <laughs> pat ourselves on the back. We got this thing back up in operation. Oh, did I bump this thing? I sure did. 27. We want 385. So ginger carefully. I got to tighten that up. The tighten up, tighten up knobs way down here. See where I'm going to reach under and, you know, give it the old woo. And uh, then it's, it's stiffen it up. See, whoa, now that's what I want. There we go. Nice and tight. There's Nova Scotia, very nice, talking to Australia. Um, God bless HF radios, man. <laughs> um, they're the bee's knees for sure. Pleased as punch that we were able to get this thing uh, back on the air, uh, transmitting on all bands at full power. And all I can say is God bless China. Uh, those industrious folks over there mailing me the part I needed. Really appreciate it. If you enjoy seeing stuff like this get uh, fixed and revived and brought back to life, or you're interested in radios or uh, electronics in general, make sure you subscribe and join us for the next Julian's Random Project. What the heck is going on out there? Come on. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt. And I'm hanging tough, over and out, over and out.